Hey everybody, it's Miss A, and I am here with a video regarding changes in matter. So today, for our lesson, we worked on pancakes, and we talked about changes in matter. And we started off with our powder that we had. And I'm going to label it as powder. That was our pancake mix. We had a measuring cup that had our liquid, our water. And when we combined these two objects, that gave us a liquid batter. And we had a big bowl that we had it in. And it was our batter, which is also in the state of a liquid. So when you add water to a powder, it turns it into a liquid. We then applied heat with our electric skillet. And once we applied heat, our batter became our pancake, which is a solid. So today, what we learned about is how matter can change when you apply different things to the matter. We applied a liquid to the powder, it became a liquid. We applied heat to the liquid, it became a solid. So what the students have to do, and I wanted to put this up there, I wrote this for them. It doesn't have to be this long. Um, I'm pretty long-winded when I write. But the focus, the things that have to be there is they have to tell me how their prop or their um, matter changed, so how their state of matter changed, and then they have to put their personal connection to it. So I'm going to read over this. I have highlighted where I talked about how the matter changed, and then I underlined my personal connection. So today my students made breakfast, not just because it was breakfast time, and definitely not because they needed to eat. They made breakfast because they needed to learn about changes in matter. Their pancake creations allowed them to take a product which started as a powder to end up as a delicious solid treat. The students started with, com with complete one cup of pancake mix, which was a powder. Then they added two thirds cup of water, liquid. When it was combined, it became a liquid. The powder was gone. The matter had changed. Then the students nominated a chef from their group. That person came over to me to work with the electric skillet. They poured their batter, watched it bubble, and with the addition of heat, the liquid had changed to a perfect round solid. Well, some were perfectly round. I love this assignment. The kids are able to experience changes in matter, make a little mess, and fill their bellies. So I've highlighted where I talk about the changes and I've underlined my personal connection to it. So why is this important to me? Or um, original thinking is what the kids talk about. So I'm asking the students tonight to work with their parent to make dinner. Now, if you don't make dinner, that doesn't stop anything. You could talk about any food that you know how to make. You could just have a conversation. So for example, if you know how to make eggs, you could write about eggs and talk about why you love eggs, all right? If you know how to make a grilled cheese, that's another thing that you can write about that um, states of matter change. So um, they need to reflect on either dinner tonight or something that they know how to make or that you guys know how to make together. I am expecting at least a paragraph and it definitely has to address the changes of matter. So how did that product change? Like when you start off with an egg, it becomes a liquid and what does it end up as and how did you make it that way? And that personal connection, that original thinking or personal connection as to why they wanted to make it. For example, they might have talked about making eggs because eggs are their favorite food and they just love them. Thanks for watching everybody, our Changes in Matter video.